Police in the Afghan capital Kabul have fired shots into the air to hold back hundreds of protesters demanding the government step down in the wake of a devastating bomb attack. Crowds rallied near the site of W.E.D.N.E.S.D.A.Y. and APO's S. Blast, chanting anti-government and anti-Taliban slogans. Police in riot gear also used tear gas and water cannon to block them from the presidential palace. About 90 people died in the bomb blast, one of the deadliest in Kabul in years. No group has said it carried out the attack. Afghan intelligence officials have pointed the finger at the Haqqani Network, a Taliban affiliate, and have alleged support from Pakistan. Pakistan has roundly rejected the claims, calling them and quote BASELESS and quote, the Taliban has denied any role, and there has been no comment from so-called Islamic State militants, who are usually quick to claim attacks. The blast, caused by explosives packed in a tanker, took place close to the heavily guarded diplomatic area. Most of the victims were Afghan civilians, and hundreds of people were injured. There have been a series of attacks in the capital and elsewhere in recent months. Many of the protesters accused the government of failing to address security issues. And quote the international community has to put pressure on them and force them to resign and quote, Nila Fernalgun, a protester, told Reuters news agency. And quote THEY and APOS re not capable of leading the country. And quote, another man told AFP news agency that leaders were and quote doing nothing to stop the CARNAGE and quote, and quote we want justice, we want the perpetrators of the attack to be hanged to death and quote, Rahila Jafari, a civil society activist, said. Some of the protesters were throwing stones, one report said, and a car was flying a banner that read and quote Ghani. Abdullah. Resign. Resign and quote, a reference to Afghan President Ashraf Ghani and Chief Executive Abdullah Abdullah. More than a third of Afghanistan is now said to be outside government control. The U.S. has about 8,400 troops in Afghanistan, while another 5,000 from NATO allies are in the country. The Pentagon has reportedly pressed U.S. President Donald Trump to send thousands more troops to Afghanistan after a top commander warned of and quote s t a l e m a t e and quote in the fight against the Taliban.